If you've been watching the channel for the last couple of weeks, then you know that I've been looking at a lot of different docks, trying to find the perfect one for the Steam Deck. Well, I might have overshot a little bit with this one. The Dock Pro from IO Gear offers four HDMI ports, four display ports, and a whole host of other enterprise-focused connection points. While it's definitely overkill for the Steam Deck, let's unbox this thing and find out what you might use it for. I'm Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Let's unbox this thing and see what's inside. There's not a lot in the box. There's obviously the unit itself. We have a power brick and associated power cable. A USB-A with a USB-C adapter tucked underneath to USB-C to plug into the device itself. And then some handy little grippy feet that you can put on the bottom if you'd like to make sure that this doesn't slide around when it's not sitting in this little tower holder thing. This next port, this red one here, is an important one. So that's a quick charge port. And this quick charge is capable of pushing 100 watts of power, meaning that you're going to get more than enough to power a Mac or a Steam Deck, or really any other portable device at full speed while running this dock at the same time. Additionally, if you were to plug this in, when we get to the back, we'll talk about power on the back, but if you plug this in with your DC connector, you can get up to 120 watts power to the device. So you'll have plenty of room for all of the things that you're going to power with this dock, as well as full power for your device that's connected to it. These next three ports are all USB 3.2 Gen 2. Now these two Type-A ports I would have expected at 3.2, that's gonna give you 10 gigs per second. I would have expected that this USB-C for the price point that this device hits at to be two by two. USB 3.2 Gen 2 by two gives you 20 gigs per second versus 10. In this case, all three are 10, which is still pretty damn fast. And rounding things out is a combined 3.5 millimeter headphone slash microphone jack. Looking at the back of the device, things get a little more interesting. Now we have a whole host of ports, but you might notice that we have eight connectors for DisplayPort and also for HDMI. That does not mean that this device supports eight devices. No, what it does mean is that you have flexibility. You can choose four, and you can choose from any one of these, these banks. You have all four to choose from, so you could do three HDMI, one DisplayPort, or two DisplayPort, two HDMI. Whatever your configuration is, you've got it here. And push comes to shove, of course, you can always use an adapter, but when you have this many options, there really isn't a need. Now, I've not seen this in any other device here, but you have two different power connectors on this dock. So you have the included 120 watt power supply that you can connect right here. And that's certainly more than enough to power the device and everything connected to it. Then you also have this USB-C. This is a 100 watt charge port, which means that you can plug in a 100 watt charger, plug this into the wall and simply get rid of this whole brick situation and just carry something that's tiny. Plug in single cable there and you can power all the devices that are connected to this dock. I've not seen this dual power option before, but it is kind of nice. The last few connectors here, you have another USB 3.2. So that's another 10 gig port coming off the back of this device. You have this USB-C, which has this computer symbol. That's where you're gonna use the included USB-C cable and you're gonna connect this to your laptop. Just above that, that's not actually a port. So that is a lock. I believe it was invented by Kensington. This particular type of lock is a uh, cable lock where you can secure this device to your desk and make sure that it doesn't run off. Um, you very rarely see these used, but you'll find them on pretty much every mobile device, laptops uh, and docks and things like this that can easily grow feet and walk away. So where would you use the Dock Pro? Would you use it at home? Well, maybe. If you have something like the Swordfish 4 monitor setup and you wanna connect it all to a single device, Okay, it might be perfect for you there. Where I do see this used is in a mixed use office environment. As we reduce the amount of time that people spend in the office, maybe you only come in on Mondays. Well, on Monday you come in and you plug in a single cable and now all of a sudden you have all four monitors and all the connected peripherals and devices that you might wanna be able to use with this. You unplug at the end of your day, the Tuesday person comes in and they plug in a single device and now they can also use those same peripherals. So from an office perspective, it makes total sense. Another place where you might see it used is something like a network operating system or a call center where you might not necessarily have an assigned seat. Where you sit is where you work. So you sit down, you plug in, tomorrow you're gonna to sit somewhere else. So for those sort of environments, this is absolutely perfect. Let's talk a little bit about price and warranty. I'm actually really impressed with what IO Gears managed to pull off with the Dock Pro. 
This level of flexible connectivity, I've not seen this in anything less than a rack-mounted KVM. This dual power option, I've not seen that in anything of this form factor. Now a single cable to plug it all together? Well, now we're talking about the perfect device for a mixed-use environment. I just wish that IO Gear believed in this device as much as I do. I hate having to turn to something like Square Trade or Shurian just to ensure that I have coverage for longer than a year. Let us know down in the comments. Do you work in an environment where this might be useful to you? Are you working in an environment where you change cubes every day? I'm Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Thanks for watching. I really hope that you got something out of this. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you again very soon.